I'm about to go around Germany with only regional trains. Journey across the whole country to every single corner of this country. And it's only gonna cost me 49 euro. Right behind me right now is the Hamburg Hauptbahnhof. It's 6.48, less than half an hour. I'm gonna be on a train to Bremen, a city in Northwestern Germany. I have not slept. I slept like one or two hours. So this journey is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a nine day journey around the whole country. So, join me. Let's go. Now you might be thinking, around the whole country for only 49 euros? How is that possible? Okay, so last summer Germany introduced a 9 euro ticket, which was basically an unlimited pass on all public transport in the country for only 9 euros per month during the summer. The plan was to encourage people to use more public transport and it was a great success. A lot of people bought it, but eventually the summer ended and so did the offer. This year, however, they reintroduced it as the Deutschland ticket. This time it cost 49 euros per month, which is still a crazy good deal considering a normal regional one-way ticket is often around 20 euros. So I figured I'd give it a shot, try to maximize what I can get out of it and find out if this is the ultimate way to see Germany on a budget. Let's go! I think I found my platform. Uh, that's a clock. Uh, yeah, I think it's this one. Nice morning today. Nice weather. I like. It makes me happy. A few moments later. It's great. We already have our first delay of this journey, but it's only five minutes, so it will get worse. <laughs> it's time. First train out of the day. Let's go. An hour to Bremen. Hope it's not too full, but it's Sunday. A lot of people are going out on stuff like this today, I guess. <laughs> I get a seat. Perfect. Okay. Here we are. Let's enjoy the journey. We're moving. Right, I almost forgot. Not to make this journey too easy. Denise, my beloved girlfriend, has prepared some stuff I have to do in each city. Like a small task. It's gonna be... I don't think their challenge is gonna be too hard, she said. So I hope she's right. Now the question is, may I open them now? Or do I have to wait until we arrive in Prima? I mean, it would be good to know what I have to do, so I can already, you know, if it's something I have to look up for or something. I'm gonna open the first one. Prima. Take a photo of you together with Prima Statsmusikan. Okay, that's easy. Although, I have no idea what Bremen Stadtmusikanten is. See, this is quite good to open it now because then I can look it up on a map. Okay, so it's down here. It's like, it's just in the old town. The train station is up there and I just have to go down there. Easy peasy. Challenge accepted. Okay, we are in uh, Bremen, first stop on the journey, I'm excited, let's get out of this chaos, it's always too many people at the train stations. Okay, the other question is, I'm just gonna follow all the people, because I guess most people are also heading into the old town, kind of. Well, let's find the city musicians as well. Take a... Uh, Take a good selfie. I'm not gonna let you down, Denise. I'm not gonna let you, you people watching this down either. Okay, okay, okay. In Bremen. I've been here before, actually, but I don't really remember anything. Because then it was November and rainy and <laughs> not really nice at all. It was a bad, it was a really bad day. So I kind of have to look up where I have to go now, but I think I should just able to walk right into town. It's nice weather today at least. That's really good. It makes it a lot easier. So I kind of have to walk in this direction, I think. Nope. 
That's not right. I think I have to cross here. Why is it so tricky to, to navigate? I can't walk properly either. Jeez, I have new shoes. I'm already getting blisters. That's not good. That was not a very smart decision. Okay. I think this is... This should be the right path. It's 8.30 and I'm already at the first destination of the day. Perfect. Okay, now we're talking. I think I see the play in my Rathaus. Well, I guess this is not the Rathaus, or is it? Uh, it's cool. It's a church, I think. Yeah, it's a church. It's a, it's a church. It's a church. It's a really pretty one. Also really pretty. Oh, I think that's the statue. I think I see the statue. Let's go. Let's go. Do the first challenge. I think this is the, the statue, or yeah, camera in one hand, second camera in the other one. Perfect. That's a horrible <laughs> selfie. Maybe if I stand a bit further away. Perfect. Okay. First challenge done. Can check that off the list i don't know was that the right direction or is, is it mirrored for you guys yeah probably it is let's see so here's the famous marktplatz very pretty and that is the bismarck cathedral i think and i know you might be wondering how i did i decide for these specific cities that i'm visiting right now and i don't really know i had an idea like figure it's easy to visit big cities because they have good connections then I wanted to throw in some cool places in between Bremen was not really planned honestly just turned out that I had a pretty long layover here so yeah that's why I'm here right now and it's yeah it's nice my point is they were kind of random the places I picked well, I would say this is a great start to the first day this building is also really really pretty it's the hot house I think um, this one looks really old actually. Like so, a lot of German cities, they got completely destroyed during the war. And a lot of them has been pretty nicely rebuilt. Some places still obviously have buildings that were not destroyed. And uh, some cities were not destroyed at all. And I kind of wonder if this building is one of them because this looks old. <laughs> oh well, we still got some time. So let's keep exploring the old town for a while. Well. It does look pretty cool to this little street. Schnur means like uh, snot in Swedish. Cool little street. Mm. This one is pretty. Look at this. This is a narrow little street. I'm sure, this street is going to be completely overcrowded later today. Or what do you think? This is really cute. Cozy. Here's what I don't really like with walking around, or well, not just walking around, but just having a, a small amount of time to, to explore. Because I kind of feel like I won't properly experience it. I usually <laughs> try to stay at least two nights per place I go to, but if I'm gonna try to squeeze as much in on this ticket as possible, that's simply not possible. Also, it's always been quite expensive to travel in Western Europe, at least as long as I have been around to travel. But post pandemic, it's just crazy how expensive like accommodation is because so many places went bankrupt, I guess. That's also one of the reasons why I'm trying to squeeze as much Germany in <laughs> in as short time as possible because I've already spent quite a lot for one week of accommodation. And that's just sleeping in the dorms in hostel beds, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, yeah, I guess that's the first city, that's Bremen. I am gonna try to find myself a coffee. And then it's time for us to move to move on. Oh, it was easier said than done finding a coffee. I have one now and I have a bit more than an hour until my train leaves. So I'm just gonna find a nice spot to sit down now I think and uh, enjoy my coffee. My well needed coffee. I looked it up by the way, that building over there, it's the Pat House, and it did survive the bombings of Lehman, so it's uh, original. <laughs> it's really cool. I am quite privileged <laughs> standing here drinking a nice coffee. The Bremen Marktplatz, in front of the 
front of the church. Worst ways to start your Sunday morning, huh? Bye, Pleman. Till another time. So this is gonna be my life for the next few hours. Sitting around, waiting, but also sitting on trains. Uh, this is the route I'm gonna go. Payment to Osnabrück, Osnabrück to Duisburg, and then Duisburg to Köln. It's gonna be, uh, I'm also way too early, I did not, I don't know, I completely had the wrong idea when this train was departing, so I was here a bit earlier than I would have preferred to. But in five hours, I should have been in Cologne. Great. Osnabrück. Let's figure out how to get to uh, the next train. I'm gonna take the train towards Düsseldorf. I think it should be down here. We'll see. Okay. There we are. Our second delay of the day. Um, should have left seven minutes ago. We don't have any any new departure time, so. See if I'll uh, manage to get a seat. I really hope I do, so I don't have to stand. Here comes the train. We were on board. Last train. I did find a seat. Perfect. Everything I could wish for. <laughs> Cologne Hauptbahnhof. Let's figure out how to get out of here. Okay. I feel like I usually come out the other way. I was gonna say that my favorite thing with arriving in Cologne is to you see the cathedral, but I guess I exited the wrong side. Uh, I'll show you the cathedral uh, soon. Anyway, we have arrived in Cologne finally. It's 14.39, so it's 20 to 3. It's going well so far, it really has. I think the majority of the trains have had some type of delay, but nothing that has fucked up the plan, fucked up the route. I think I might have to walk through the whole train station again though to, to get to the cathedral. Uh, or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, I'll see you there. Let's try this again. My favorite thing with arriving in Cologne is that just outside the train station, you have the door, the cathedral, the Kölner Dom, which is definitely an impressive building. I mean, look at that. It's not the first time I show that one in the, on this channel even. We were here and made a Christmas market video. And then I, I showed it a little bit. Also went inside. I, I don't know if I'll be able to go inside today if it's open. Honestly. But, I mean, look at it. It is, it is, it is impressive. I've yet to open the challenge I got from Denise. But I think I will actually check into my hostel. Drop off some stuff. I mean, I'm really traveling light, but it can always be lighter. Yeah, look at this. Welcome to Cologne, can I say? Yeah, here it should be. Oh, you fought Hilton? No, <laughs> no, not Hilton. Uh, we're not that rich. Actually, that's why you have to like and subscribe so I can uh, get, get all the sweet YouTube money. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, it should be on this road. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, welcome to my home for the night. Um, cozy. Six bed door with li literally six beds, not um, bunk beds, which is nice. Uh, yeah, bed. It's okay. I haven't tested if it's long enough for me, but it's 
time to open the next challenge. Cologne, or cologne, as we would say in English, for some reason. Visit Brauerei Pefken and have a Kölsch. Remember to put the coaster on top when you've had enough. That's a challenge in my taste. Like, it's really hot outside. I'd love to have a, a Kölsch right now. So Kölsch is like the, the beer from Cologne. It's, uh, yeah, it has to be brewed here to be called Kölsch. I don't really know what else is special about it, but it's quite tasty. Cool. I'm just gonna get ready. Maybe relax a little bit, actually. And then uh, I might out. Cool. Okay, we're out again. So it's a bit later, it's like an hour later. I've charged up my stuff, chilled out a little bit, drank some water. Feel pretty okay right now. Uh, backpack is lighter, so yeah. As I said, I've been to Cologne before. Uh, I've never been here in summer though. I don't mean to offend anyone in Cologne, but in my opinion, Cologne is not the most beautiful city in Germany, probably. It's not the ugliest either, but uh, kind of the cathedral and everything, but. There's also another thing that I kind of think is quite pretty, that's the skyline. So yeah, that is where we're gonna go right now, and uh, gonna have a look at that. And well, yeah, to get there we have to walk past the Cologne Cathedral, of course. It's a crazy impressive building, it really is. It's unfortunately closed already, it's only open for a few hours on Sunday apparently. Oh well, you can check out the Cologne Christmas Market video if you're interested in looking at, seeing how it looks inside. How do you like my hat, by the way? Bought it for uh, for Egypt, wore it across the uh, Middle East. Uh, mostly as a joke, but it's legit. It's great against the sun, so the sun is burning right now. So yeah, wearing it again. Quite stoked for the challenge as well. Guess in this weather, yeah, obviously. Also, I hadn't really figured out what I was gonna have for dinner, so might just have some dinner there. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. We're gonna walk around Cologne now for a while. Gonna have a look at the skyline and we'll go for some dinner. Have some kölsch. Sounds like a good plan. So here we got the kind of iconic bridge. I just realized that maybe it's not the best spot to take a picture from the bridge. Because the bridge is kind of part of it. Whatever. It's a mighty bridge. And um, it's got a nice view over the River Rhine. Look at all these padlocks as well. I wonder how many of those people are still together. I feel like there are probably a lot of those that does not make sense anymore. Yeah, it's probably bad. <laughs> uh, not that smart. It was it would probably better to stand on uh, that bridge. Bridge over there. Take a picture. This is a pretty good view though. You get a cathedral, you get the bridge, you get whatever that is. What's for sure is that I'm really happy to be done with trains on the first day. And uh, yeah, we're across. I'm sure we'll have a better view. There we got the proper view. What I'm really happy about is that this day, at least the trains of today, is over. All went surprisingly smooth, surprisingly easy, which I didn't really expect, especially considering how little I slept tonight. But yeah, it's been fine, and it feels really nice to, to have arrived here as well. The only problem I have is that my toes are fortunately a bit broken. I have quite big blisters on them, both of my little toes. I tried to put a band-aid over it, but I think both of them has already fallen off due to uh, me being a bit sweaty. Well, okay. I think we got the best panoramic view of them all. Look at that, huh? This is Cologne. These are also some quite cute houses along the water. Or, well, you can't really see the water, but yeah. I'm sure that it would be really pretty to see them from the water, if you could see the water. Let's see here. Oh, they're selling drinks. Maybe I want something to drink. Oh. What can I say? I was planning to wait a little bit or until dinner, but man, it's just so hot. I just feel like it would be perfect to sit down somewhere here and uh, enjoy one. We'll see how it holds up to the, to the brewery one I'm gonna have later. To Germany, to start of this great adventure. Ah, 
tasty. Could be a bit cold. So this is obviously a Kölsch beer. I really gotta look up what's so special about Kölsch. If it's just that it's from here or if it's made in a certain way. I think I'll look that up sometime. You know what? Me in the future will tell you now. Okay, me in the future here. Kölsch has to be brewed in a special way, which gives it a slightly different flavor than normal lager, but that's pretty much it. What was the sitting over there? Not kidding. <laughs> the view is so much nicer over here. I mean, it's a lot more crowded, but but this is definitely a better place to sit down and just enjoy enjoy my beer. Yeah, this is a good spot. It really is. Time to go for some dinner and some more beer, I guess. Uh, just gonna figure out where to go. But uh, this looks cozy, so let's walk this way. Here we got the cathedral again, but from a different angle. Pretty from here as well. And here we got it from the front. The Cologne Cathedral in all its glory. It's so fucking hot, I'm sweating like crazy. Also, blisters on my feet are starting to become a problem. They are starting to hurt a bit. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to solve that because the band-aids don't stick on it. I'm sweating like a pig. It's it's crazy how hot it is in all right now. I think it's a whole heat wave over northern Europe actually. But then again, I'd rather have this than <laughs> 14 degrees and rain. There it is. Wawai Pefkin. We got it. Wawai Pefkin. Ooh, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking exhausted. It's so hot. I'm... But I'm here. I'm here and I'm gonna have a coach now. And it's gonna be tasty. But I'm definitely gonna have something to eat. One more for you? The question is just what I'm gonna have here. Ooh, they have sauerbraten. So, Denise is always telling me how tasty sauerbraten is. So, I would kind of like to try it. It's 1750 though. It's quite expensive. You know what? I'm doing this challenge and it's uh, Kölsche Spezialitäten. So, yeah. Let's go for a Sauerbraten. Danke. Und ich hätte gerne Sauerbraten. Einmal Sauerbraten. Dankeschön. Okay. Challenge number two. In Cologne. Prost. Mm. That one is so much better than the one I had before. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more of, more of that. So what do you do? Is that they write it down, like how many you have here, and then you pay later. As long as your beer is open like this, they will replace it for you. Put this one over, and they will say no more. It's, uh, it's a cool system. I like it. Oh, man. It's good. <laughs> Alright, I forgot. Challenge number two. Or the, the whatever is right. Nice Sauerbraten with Klöße. I think this is apple, no? Yeah, apple mousse. Perfect. So this is. It's like meat, I guess, with some sauce. This is Klöße. Um, type of. I don't know, the English name is also dumplings. Everything is dumplings in English. It's confusing, but apparently the sauce is what makes this good. Like, that's the big thing here. So, Denise, my first salad button. Let's see how I like it. That is really good. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. The sauce is kind of like, it's a bit sweet and sour. Don't really know how to describe it properly. The meat is just falling apart. It's absolutely delicious. With this, what is it called in English? Applesauce? Absolutely delicious as well. And this is a good dish. Why haven't I never had this before? I've been to Cologne multiple times and I've never had this before. One more. Cheers. Post. I mean, it's my last one for tonight. Then I'm gonna go home and probably just go to bed. Because tomorrow it's gonna be up early and I am fucking exhausted. So. 
This has been a really good day. It's been a really good first day, actually. Um, a lot over expectation. And I think this is a good way to end the first day, so... See you tomorrow. And yeah, I think that's a good spot to end the day and this video. Here are some stats from this first day. And we can see that I took four trains, of which two departed late but arrived in time, one departed in time but arrived late, and one both departed and arrived late. That means that 50% of the trains arrived too late and 100% of the trains had some type of delay. In total I spent 291 minutes on trains or 4 hours and 51 minutes, which doesn't sound too bad actually. All in all, a great start to the journey. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll join me on this adventure. In that case, feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you then!